When reverence and an eternal perspective come together, authentic humility is the result. Humility is cultivated when we recognize that our life is about Him. We are serving as His leader. Recognizing that God has bestowed intellect, talents, and gifts upon us takes the focus off of us and rightly places it on our Lord. Philippians 2, 2-3 says, Complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. This compels us to demonstrate the love and the attitude of Jesus Christ to all people. Characterized by selflessness, servanthood, and a lifestyle of obedience to seeking first the kingdom of God. We learn to value life, every life, from those with different abilities to those yet to be born and those in captivity. Our commitment to the dignity and ultimate worth of each person rooted in being created in the image of God and loved by God is further shaped by the person, teaching, and example of Jesus. In this video, you will see three scenarios in response to God's call presented by Lisa McNair, head of school for St. Timothy Christian Academy, followed by Brianna Devados from SLI and Maya Brown, founder of the IJM Club. PCA interns are a vital part of our students' overall school experience. Tutoring and classroom assistance are just a small portion of what they offer. The greatest gift they bring is friendship. They model appropriate social skills and offer guidance from a peer's perspective. In their roles as servant leaders, these young men and women demonstrate God's love and acceptance. Their devotion has been life-changing for the students at St. Timothy, and I believe the interns' lives have been impacted and blessed as well. Each fall, students in the Student Leadership Institute program are given one cultural issue to wrestle with and dive deep into understanding using critical thinking skills. This fall, the issue of abortion was selected because several states, including Texas, have recently enacted a variety of very significant changes to the abortion discussion, from loosening restrictions on aborted children being born alive to the criminalization of abortion for the doctor and the mother. Too often, we look for the easy answers. But in SLI, students have the opportunity to grapple with complex concepts like bodily autonomy or parents wanting to eliminate birth defects through selective abortion. And in the process, students realize that there are no easy answers. To lay the foundation for this topic, we listened to four different speakers with unique experiences all connected to the abortion issue. The first speaker that we got the pleasure of listening to was Ms. Trisha Ruse. She is the Bishop Lynch volleyball coach who gave birth after an abortion was recommended to a trisomy 18 baby, who ended up living for several months. The second presenter we got to listen to was Josiah Presley. He is an abortion survivor who lost an arm in the process, but found God's healing and forgiveness as well. Third, we got to listen to Chelsea Human, who is the Texas State Director and National Legislative Advisor at the Human Coalition Action. And finally, we heard from Texas State Representative Jeff Leach, who authored the Born Alive Protection Act. I'm so grateful that Prestonwood doesn't shy away from the tough issues, but rather confronts them and gives us students tools on how to lovingly speak truth and help those in difficult situations. As we continue our understanding of God's creation of diversity and how we incorporate this into the fabric of our school, it is important for us to have opportunities to work towards a more just society. Partnering with International Justice Mission representatives, PCA alumni, Amber Pryor and Jesse Tidmore, the first ever high school IJM chapter has been developed by PCA students. We have begun diving into a better understanding of Micah 6.8, which says, He has told you, O man, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justice, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. By gaining knowledge about injustices around the world, discussing how we can help through advocacy, awareness, and praying consistently to the Lord for mercy. 